everybody I've been at this for way too long I'm starting to uh, think I'm never going to get this video done tonight so whatever happens happens and I am going to apologize in advance CJ here tech addict addict etc etc so I have just done a video if you are watching this video this video is number five out of however many I'm going to do in this series you want to go back and watch video four now if you haven't watched it yet watch it now okay go back and find video four same title just video four slash question mark now at the end of that video I I explain all of this diagram now granted my uh, my video is reversed here so in the other video you can see that it's actually right but um, I explain what this is, I explain why the contact point it looks like that, and I explain why that is therefore the schematic symbol of a diode. All right. All of that being said, diode selection is critical to your radio, all right? Last night I talked about with my crystal radio, I talked about how I used to be able to pick up Radio Havana. I cannot do that now. All I can get now no matter which of these several coils I've got, right? No matter which of these I use, all I can pick up are the very strongest local stations, okay? And only a few of those. AM band, broadcast band stations. I wasn't getting anything like I was getting before. Pardon me. And I distinctly remember before being able to pick up Cuba. I mean, loud and clear. I mean, S9 plus 40 is the kind of signal I had on this same exact antenna that I'm using tonight. Well, why can't I get that signal today? I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's the, the coil I'm using, right? So I go back and I look at that video that I did. You're not going to find it. It's private. But I looked at that video that I did a year and a half ago, and I had this coil in use. Now this one is actually a remake because I had at some point removed all the wire and I've added probably five or six or ten or twelve turns to the coil so it's going to be a slightly different frequency band but hopefully this um, variable tuning capacitor will help me accommodate that. Regardless, I remade this coil thinking the coil was my problem. It's not the coil because here's what I get when I hook it up with that coil. Now I've already removed the diode, so let me put the diode back in. Now listen closely. Nothing but static pops. Now, if I could amplify that, I've got these things up cranked all the way to 11, right? And all I'm getting are very quiet static pops. So that tells me it's not the coil. Now, if you go back and read or watch the video I just did, video four, you'll see why I'm only getting static pops and I'm not getting any signal. Well, it's because of the forward voltage or the forward, the, the voltage drop of the diode. That diode that I've been using the past couple of nights has a 0.6 volt drop. What I really want is this diode here because I know this one works. This one is one of the first diodes I ever used for a crystal radio. And it is my father's diode. He's the one who gave it to me. I asked him if I could have it. He's like, sure. Um, but he has had this longer than I've been alive. So, you know, some 50 years ago, this is how they made diodes. If I can get my Samsung piece of crap phone to focus on it. So you can see in there, if you if you go back and watch video four, you'll see, you know, the thing about a cat whisker and all that and the Galena rock. On this diode, the equivalent to the Galena rock is that square of metal down there on the bottom. All right. You can't really tell because my phone is crappy. But that little piece of wire is actually touching that little square substrate. And it's touching it in a very peculiar spot because that's just where it happened to make contact. Now the thing is, the original crystals um, 
to get the diode effect out of them. It was very, very, very touch and go, very trial and error, very whatever. And the thing is, diodes are so much more reliable because they're commercially manufactured to this very exacting, exacting specification. They just work, okay? You don't have to worry about getting it right and trying it for three hours and still failing. Now, listen to this. Let me hold this down here. I'm able to pick up a few different stations. Now, there's still local AM broadcast band, and it's probably because they're just happen to be the strongest stations in the area. Um, and I, I really don't like using that diode because it is so old. And it is one that my father had before I was born, and I it, there's a sentimentality to that. But that that diode, if you go back and watch video four, you'll see that that diode has a 0.422 volt drop. This diode here has a 0.275 volt drop. This is the best diode I've got for a crystal radio. Listen to this. You'll you'll notice it's actually not much different, if at all. Remember how this brought. Maybe a little bit louder, because, right? You know, um, and my tuning capacitor has absolutely zero effect on that. So I'm going to play with the capacitor a little more and see if I can't get a better, uh, better tank circuit. Okay, better tuning, better selectivity, maybe some filtration in there. Um, see if we can get um, a better, I don't know, just better detection. So one of the other things, uh, the very same website that I've been using for the schematic um, shows another schematic. And again, my video is reversed, so let me uh, do it over here. Um, the same page techlib.com slash electronic slash crystal html now the these are copyrighted and honestly i don't know how somebody can copyright such a basic this is like copywriting i don't know a hello world program in c plus plus right you you just don't do that it's too freaking basic okay but you know what i'm calling fair use on this because i'm making commentary on it and i'm using it for education purposes as well i don't know if the education really matters but Here's the thing. Um, so this is not an exact duplicate of his circuit, but it's close and it's basically the same thing. Um, there is a way if you don't mind using a battery. Okay, the the reason we do crystal radios is because they don't require a battery. All right, but I'm still using. I'm cheating with the audio amplifier, so it's still got an external power source. I may as well go ahead and use a battery too, and forego the diode altogether, and I'll use instead. A transistor. Now, a transistor is essentially just a couple of diodes tied together um, in a certain configuration. But the way they're made, they're they're just as sensitive. I think I really don't know. I'm going to try it though. And this um, different transistors that I've got, I'll I'll try those in lieu of the diode. Did I say that the transistors I've got, I'm going to try in lieu of the diodes to see if I get any better signal out of them. But they're going to require a little bit of a redesign of the, of the uh, board down here. And they're going to require a little bit of playing around with them. I'll have to try different, di uh, uh, different transistors and see what I get. But, um, you know, I'll do that tomorrow because it is, wow, it's got to be like, what are we... Uh, it's 1.18 in the morning right now. It should not take two and a half hours to do a 10 minute video, I swear. So I'm gonna to go to bed. I hope you all have enjoyed this. If so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. If not, then just forget I exist. It's not gonna hurt my feelings of one bit. <laughs> Cause I'm happy, I'm going to bed. Everybody, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. I will uh, probably have it up sometime in the next couple of days. Take care.